Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is different losses and dispersion in an optical cables, in an optical fibers. From the exam point of view, you may expect the direct question uh, related to these losses that what are the different types of losses or explain this absorption, scattering and attenuation losses uh, in case of optical fibers. So first let us talk about different losses taking place in the fiber optic cable. So these losses are mainly absorption losses, scattering losses, attenuation losses, then bending losses and coupling losses. First, let us talk about the absorption loss. As the name indicates, this is due to the absorption of the light rays because of the material which is used to manufacture the fiber optic cable. We know that the fiber optic cable are uh, produced by making use of the glass material or plastic material. So certain amount of light rays may be getting absorbed by such materials which produces the heat. It is related to the absorption loss. So the materials used to manufacture the fiber optic cable causes the absorption of incoming light ray uh, to generate the heat and this is corresponding to the absorption loss. Then there are three subtypes of this absorption loss. First is intrinsic absorption. This is because of the basic atoms that are used in case of uh, FOC that is fiber optic cable. Then extrinsic losses. This is due to the impurity atoms. Sometimes uh, many impurity atoms are added while manufacturing the fiber optic cable which again causes the absorption of incoming photons, incoming light rays which is extrinsic absorption loss. And third is atomic defects. It may happen that there are certain atomic defects in the material which is used to um, make the fiber optic cable. So again, it causes uh, absorption and produces heat. So this is about the absorption losses. Next is the scattering losses. Scattering is basically the thing that whenever uh, the straight light is passing, then it gets the path of the light, straight light is deviated. So that is referred as scattering. So straight line path is deviated. This, this deviation or this change in the direction of that uh, light ray, I mean path of the light ray is due to the non-uniformity present in the structure of optical cable. We know that ideally the uh, structure of the fiber optic cable should be throughout uniform, throughout the length of optical cable. But practically there are certain non-uniformities because of which the straight line path gets changed. It causes the power loss. That means the power from one mode gets transferred to the other mode if, you are, if I'm talking about a multi-mode fibers. This is again due to the imperfections in the materials. The material which is used to manufacture uh, the fiber optic cable may contain certain defects or there, there may be certain imperfections which causes the scattering of the light rays. Then for MM that is multimode fiber optic cable, these scattering losses are more compared to the other types of fiber. Now attenuation, we know that in general attenuation indicates the reduction in amplitude of a signal. In case of optical cables, Attenuation is reduction in the light intensity of a cable. We have discussed two types of losses, one is absorption and scattering. So attenuation is combination of both absorption and scattering because due to this absorption of the incoming light ray or scattering of the incoming light ray, losses are produced. These losses reduces the light intensity which is denoted by attenuation alpha. It is measured in dB. The mathematical equation is alpha is 10 by L. L is the length of optical cable log P in upon P out where P in is the input power that is launched that is given into the optical cable and P out is the output power coming from the optical cable. Next type of loss is bending loss. As the name indicates, if the fiber optic cable is bent, I mean it is sharply bent, then it may happen that the angle of incidence at the core cladding interface will be less than the critical angle and which will not allow total internal reflection. What we have studied earlier, the angle of incidence must be greater than the critical angle to cause total internal reflection. Then another thing related to this bending losses, if the fiber optic cable is bent sharply, it may happen that there is a radiation of uh, light rays 
from the core layer it causes it produces losses or due to sharp bending there may be a, a certain minor cracks in the core layer which again causes losses in the system this is called the mechanical uh, failure of the system so this is about the bending losses next is the coupling losses in case of optical cable we know that the innermost layer is the core layer so this is the core layer above which there is a cladding and jacket layers at one end at the transmitter end we are supposed to make use of source at the receiver end we are supposed to use the detector so this source should be coupled to the fiber optic cable as well as detector should be again coupled to the fiber optic cable when these devices are coupled or connected to the fiber optic cable then there can be some losses in the system because the practically the connection or coupling may not be perfect another thing is fiber optic cables are used mainly for longer distance communication say for 100 kilometers so it is not possible to uh, manufacture a single fiber optic cable of such a length in such cases different cables are joined together so different techniques are available like splicing coupling and so on there can be misalignments of the two cables which you want to join so because of which again the losses in the system uh, takes place so this is about the coupling losses next an important part is dispersion in very much simplified language what is the meaning of this dispersion it is related to the spreading of output pulse why it takes place as shown in this diagram i have drawn the diagram related to multimode fiber optic cable multimode means different modes different wavelengths are transmitting through the fiber optic cable simultaneously so all these light rays all these modes follow different paths they are not reaching the output at the same time so at the output the pulse is broadened that means spreading of the output pulse takes place which is referred as the dispersion so definition is spreading of output pulse is called dispersion this is due to the difference in propagation paths as shown in this diagram every wavelength is following different paths so due to this difference in the propagation path dispersion takes place now there are two broad uh, categories of the dispersion first is intramodal or chromatic dispersion we know that at the source end we are supposed to use one light source which is generating the light rays every light source has a limited spectral width make it more simple the different spectral components or or you can say like this the light source let us say gen generates different wavelengths different light rays every light ray is having different velocity so there is a propagation delay difference between different spectral components that means all the spectral components all the light rays which are coming out from the light source are not reaching the output at the same time because of the propagation delay because of the transmission delay so this is related to this intramodal dispersion now again there are two sub categories one is material dispersion very simple the material which is used to manufacture the fiber optic cable itself is dispersive nature which is which is creating the delays and because of which spreading of the output pulse takes place or second is wave guide dispersion what is this wave guide we know that the fiber optic cable is used to guide the light rays passing from source to the detector so fiber optic cable is called a wave guide structure again due to the uh, manufacturing methods or due to certain uh, drawbacks in the cable itself the dispersion of the light rays which are passing through the fiber optic cable takes place which is referred as waveguide dispersion <clears throat> like this due to the guiding effect of the structure of fiber optic cable the dispersion takes place which is a waveguide dispersion next is intermodal or modal dispersion it is taking place in case of multimode fiber optic cable as i explained you right now that different uh, propagation paths are there different wavelengths are uh, using different following different propagation paths their velocities are different so at the output all these components are not reaching at the same time which causes broadening of the output pulse 
so the signal is spread in the tank is referred as intermodal or simply modal dispersion now let us solve the numerical related to the dispersion given question is a multi mode graded index fiber exhibits a total pulse broadening of 0.1 microsecond this total pulse broadening is denoted by t capital t which is 0.1 microseconds which is 0.1 into 10 raised to minus 6 seconds this is 0.1 into 10 raised to minus 6 seconds over a distance of 15 kilometer so given length is 15 kilometer we don't have to convert it in terms of meters because everything is related to kilometer calculate first part maximum possible bandwidth of the link second part pulse dispersion per unit length third part bandwidth length product of the fiber bw stands for bandwidth so third part is bandwidth into length product of the fiber i have written the formula this is pretty simple numerical b oct that is maximum possible bandwidth of the optical cable so b oct is 1 by 2 t simply put the values so it is 1 by 2 into 0.1 into 10 raised to minus 6 because it is formula is 1 by 2 t so this gives me the answer 5 into 10 raised to 6 hertz which is same as 5 mega hertz second pulse dispersion per unit length pulse total pulse dispersion is given that is t so formula is t by l so it is 0.1 into 10 raised to minus 6 upon l l is the length upon 15 so value of t by l is 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 9 this is t by l so unit is seconds per kilometer which is same as 6.67 nanoseconds per kilometer. Next is bandwidth length product. Very simple. Take the multiplication of bandwidth and length. So it is B of into L. So it is 5 megahertz. I am keeping it as it is into L. 5 into 15. That is 75 megahertz kilometer. So this is the final answer. This numericals are uh, based on the expression are pretty easy. Only this form, this formulae are required. So, dear students, that's it for this session. So, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.